Okay, and welcome back to Python, and we're looking at Hangman. Today, specifically, we're going to look at, well, you've made a guess. You've made a correct guess. Now we want our Python to display the letter where it should be. So, in case of input, if I guessed an I, I'd want it to correct that the first dash should be changed to an I, and then I still have my four dashes afterwards, just to make sure that I've got everything. Now, to do that, we're going to use two skills that we've already used before. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so I'm back where I left off. I'm firstly going to loop through the word. Now the last time I looped through the word, up here, and I'm still going to be looping through the chosen word. That's brilliant. So I'm going to take the entire thing. Awesome. That saved me time. Alright, the next part is to compare the word with the guess. Okay, so each time I goes through, I want to say, well, actually, if it is my letter, if it is the one that I've guessed, let's just print, I need to replace it. Because it's better to do this in short steps, where I can check to see what's going on, rather than in longer ones and try it all to do it all at the same time. So let's print out the letter if it needs replacing, and if it doesn't equal the guess, then I guess I doesn't need replacing, stays the same. Or stays as the dash, really. It's our first loop through. Alright, let's try it. Please enter a guess. So every letter stays exactly the same apart from E. So to me, that's showing that it's working. So it's checking to see whether or not my guess is equal to the current letter that it's looking for in that for loop. Now, if we use the variable dashes at this moment in time, we could accidentally overwrite the player's progress each time they guess a letter. It's not going to be useful if they started off with an E and the next time they go around it just disappears. So let's have a look. Right, we've compared the word. Um, we need, I think, a new variable. Because if I don't want to replace dashes, let's get. Oh, just under this one. Let's get dashes temp. We'll make it a temporary variable that we can use just for this loop. And that's going to start off by being blank. Okay, now if the guess is the same, what I want this temporary dashes to do is to just, let's think, be itself, because we're looping through each letter, so it's going to have to equal itself, and I then want to add whatever I is onto the end. I might also want to put the space in because we've done that originally to give that nice gap. Alright, here's where it gets tricky. If it's not the same letter, so in the case of processing down the left hand side, say P, we want to still make it stay the same, but I'd like to add, let's just put a T in there for now, random letter, and space, just to see if this works. A 5. Where's the E? <laughs> it would help, Marshall, if you used that last statement and outputted new dashes, because at the moment, we don't know what dashes temp is, so let's print dashes temp. Keep my guess. That'll then microphone. Seems to have enough letters. Brilliant. I've now got it so that I could put the dashes back in, but I've got a problem. If where I put that T, I just replaced it to an underscore, so the sentence looks something like this one and the top one, um, I'm going to end up with dashes all the time. So no matter what happens in the rest of my code, it's always going to be dash, 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 E in this case. So I don't want that one. It's going to have to be a little bit of maths. Let's think. Now my chosen word, I'm looping through it, and I've got dashes that I could be using as well. Hang on a second then. Because if we've got the dashes temp, so whatever's already in there, we want to add whatever was currently in dashes rather than replacing it with that T. So whatever dashes is, and I'm going to need a position. I'm going to need to know where I am in my list, because if I add the whole of the word dashes, it's going to look weird. Let's use a count, and we'll start it with zero. Um, after the if statement, what I want to do, make sure it's indented properly, is I want to add one to my list, so I'm going to keep it as it is, Count equals 
count plus one. Oh, that's fine. Okay, and um, let's see if we put that counter. It's just giving me a position. It's telling me what position I am in the loop. So it's just adding one each time. So the first time I go through, count will be zero. Second time it'll be one. Third time it'll be through two. Oh, look at that. It's unfortunately adding an extra space. This is where maths comes in, I think. Because if we remember the word dashes and what we placed in that one, we had an underscore and a space to represent one letter. So I'm going to need the count the number of times I go through that list. I think it's going to need to double. So what I mean is, as it goes, I'm going to have to times it by two, I think. Um, as it goes through that for loop, it starts off at zero. So the dashes temp has put the first one in there as the first underscore. And it's then got a bit confused because when it goes through the second time, it wants to put whatever's next in dashes, which in this case is a space. So I'm going to have to double it to get to the next dash or the next letter. Come on. Would help if I could guess correctly in Hangman. Microphone. Woohoo! Get ready to celebrate. I'm currently using a for loop and an if statement and a whole boatload of maths to work out exactly how many spaces I need as it goes on through. Let's make it look a little bit neater. So, the ball's in your court. Can you, after I re remove the print statement and the debugging, because it'll look a little bit better after that, I think, can you add a for loop, an if statement, a counter, and remembering to times the counter by two, to actually replace the dashes as you go along? Good luck. So my last few steps is just to make it look a little bit neater as I go through. One more time. So frustrating when that doesn't work. Actually, that works well. 